What's amazing, really, I mean, for, for the writers, when you're doing something like that, and, you know, to sort of produce a creative team, is to think so far ahead. Isn't it incredible? So, so this, how long have you been in, in Emmerdale? A long time. I started in 2000. Right. I, I think that's a brilliant point. It, when, given this storyline like this, it's made me realise how bloody amazing the writers are, you know, the producer, the, the directors who come on, you know, Maxine Alderton, who's written two very special episodes, which <laughs> uh, one is to come and one has been. Yeah. She, it just shows you what an amazing team yeah. of people to think that that's a, that's a story that's been bubbling beyond yes. three years, and yeah. finally the right time for it to, yeah. you know, the layers to carry on start. through it. You know, we've had different producers since you've obviously uh, been there since yeah. 2000, yeah. and for them to run with it and carry on, it's amazing. And yeah. also, when you uh, for, for all, and I think probably the reason why this storyline is the right time for her to be able to cope and deal with it, although obviously she's struggling with it, is because of this, this relationship and the fact that she's finally found somebody in her life that can probably really stand by her side and really support her through it. Because, I mean, Vanessa's been, I mean, at times it's caused arguments between you, but you've been, you've been a key part of this, a key part of her support. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, Vanessa has supported her from day one. And the thing is with Vanessa, everything she does comes from a good place. She's got a good heart. But um, when Charity did tell her about what had happened, the first thing Vanessa did was call the police. police yeah. yeah. Because, you know, what do you do? You, she, she said, please don't, you know, she trusted her, but she went behind her back and called and also, the police. Also, you've got that relationship with your sister. You're worried about your sister as well, having any kind of communications with D.I. Bales. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. But, yeah. So now, you know, obviously she doesn't want to go behind Charity's you know, the back voice again, reason but she moral. needs to protect her sister. We should we should point out that Di Bales. I mean, this is this is he 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 groomed her. She was she was assaulted. Yeah, it's um, a huge case. So this is a, this is a massive yeah. historical abuse case. He is now a respected and remains and was at the time a respected member of the police service. Yeah. Um, and is now looking after vulnerable women. Yeah, kind of due for promotion and and is yeah he's fronting this uh, campaign and um, I, I must. Just, Say as well, D.I. Bell's played by Rocky Marshall. He is insanely brilliant. Yeah. What an yeah. amazing actor because he's a beautiful <laughs> human being and he plays this, you know, dark character and coming back to haunt charity and, and it, you know, he definitely does. But yeah, it's a very powerful storyline. So last night, I mean, we saw that moment where she'd had that, he bribed her with the money to say, just keep quiet and here's all this money. Yeah. And she's sitting there, she has this moment where she goes, no, actually, enough is enough. And she goes to the conference, she stands up and she tells everybody what's going to happen. So this is going to have a knock on effect for not only her, but for, for everybody when they find out uh, this story. He is still a respectable, upstanding uh, policeman. Absolutely. So, think, how, is, will she be believed? Because well, I think you've got the audience screaming at her not to take the money, and obviously charity is driven by things like that money. And she's thinking, well, how could I possibly get the truth to be told eventually when it was so many years ago? And 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 you know, how will anyone believe me? Because I've told so many lies in the past. But this is the, the delicate subject. You know, the mm. subject matter is so delicate and. and a, a, such a, a thing that you, you can't really um, pretend it never happened. And, and I think yeah. she's facing these demons now and she's got to, she's got to that crossroads of, like, I can't let this... Mm -hmm. You know, and, and Vanessa pulls her into that. Um, yeah, absolutely. And she's we have... the first person she's opened up to about, about such a dark secret. Mm -hmm. I think the importance of the storyline being, if it speaks to anyone in any way, shape or form, who, you know, for anyone who's suffered any kind of abuse of any kind, be it so, you know, all that time ago, if it even gets people talking, I think it's yeah. Yeah. important, really it, important. It must have been emotional to play as well. Oh, gosh, yeah. I mean, I remember getting the scripts, and as Emma said, um, it was a Maxine Alderton script, who was a fantastic writer. And I remember reading the scenes, and there was one scene when it was, it was literally just charity. It was uh, monologue after monologue, and then near the end, there's just one little line, and it's Vanessa. And when I re first read it, I thought, if I muck that line up right <laughs> at the end, because I thought she's going to be in such a place. Yeah. And, like, you know, the concentration. You she no, was absolutely fantastic. Brilliant. I think the pressure is more on the person who's got the one line at the end of it, because it's like, ah! But, um, yeah. but no, we managed, and I, I, I learned it so yeah. well, yeah, like did. four words or something. Well, you are vanity now. Um, apparently, vanity. Yes. Hashtag yes. vanity. You always know the pair of you together. Couple when you got your, your <laughs> names combined Isn't like it that. Crazy stuff. Yeah. Vanessa and Charity, vanity. Yeah, we've had a lot of tweets this morning actually saying there's. Um, I think there's a few of the girls come down to see us. Oh really? really? So, yeah, yeah sweet. The well, the other the other oh. thing is, of course, is that you know the story. The, there is so much more to come because yeah. Yeah. we yeah. know that there is now. There was a child. Yeah, she that she's going to be faced with a lot of um, 
moral decisions, uh, you know, connected to bails and, and the repercussions of, of all of that and, and it will yeah. it will have to come out so she, she's facing her demons once And there's a flashback episode Yeah, we've got a up, fantastic flashback episode and that's coming on the end of May, I think. That'll be on around the end of May time. And so I'm assuming that is another actress playing you. Yeah, yeah. so when you were Charity and Vanessa kind of narrate Charity's past and, and the audience for the first time ever actually go back and see what it was like Charity yeah. I mean, it like, is really so you're an Everdell fan yeah. you get to get that little knowledge of stuff yeah. that you should never know yeah because yeah. we've done it once before with uh, Kane and Faith yeah. uh, and it, it worked really well yeah. so they've and done it, it again at the very end of the episode the, the audience are left with this incredible um nugget of information that nobody else knows and, and I, I love it when they do that oh, and let the audience, it's exciting yeah. really yeah, you do see something. why charity you know is why she is yeah. and yeah. it answers all makes a lot sense. questions yeah a nightmare <laughs> oh that's what we love. Um, a great play but yeah. great to play yeah, yeah. Um, and as you say you. also very helpful as well if it brings anybody oh Absolutely. yeah just to open that's up and speak to anyone yeah thank you, thank you lovely to thank see you, you both thank